Hi everyone, it's me and I'm on the floor. <laughs> we are about to embark on a gigantic journey, you guys. Are you ready? All right, so what journey are we embarking on today? As you can see from the title, we are starting Caroline Gervin's Epic Endgame program today. And you might think, Jamie, like we do this every single week. This isn't exciting. You do a new program every single week and this is just like so normal, but no. Today is not normal. We are not doing the usual this time. We are not only trying a one week of Epic Endgame this time around. We are going full out and we are gonna complete the program, okay? <laughs> yes, I do have a very short attention span when it comes to workouts and workout programs, but one of my goals for 2022 was to complete an entire workout program and I have chosen Epic Endgame as the one I want to do. You guys know that I absolutely love Caroline. She's the one that made me fall in love with like weighted work, using dumbbells, and doing more of that style of training. So when I saw her announce Epic Endgame, stating that this was gonna be the last Epic program, I just had to do it. I just felt the call. <laughs> so that is what today is about. We are embarking on a 50 day journey. Actually, no, it's gonna be longer than 50 days, but it's gonna be 50 workouts. <laughs> and we're gonna see it through all the way to the end. I know we will. <laughs> so if you guys are watching this video right now and you've been thinking of challenging yourself to see if you can finish an entire program, let's do this together. Hop on Epic Endgame. I'm gonna give you weekly update videos on how I'm doing with the program, how I'm feeling. So I think it'd be really fun if you guys also wanted to hop on the program and kind of live through this together with me. So that's the journey we're taking. And I did look into what Epic Endgame is. So I'm just gonna give you a little brief description of the program. So kind of similar to Caroline's other Epic programs. It's a 10 week program, as I said already. There'll be five workouts every single week and each workout will be a completely new, unique video that Caroline posts. This time around, the length of the individual workouts themselves will be anywhere between 30 minutes to 40 minutes, which I think is just like chef's kiss, perfect time length. I wouldn't wanna go any shorter or longer than that personally. <laughs> and she did provide us with some key points regarding how Epic Endgame might be a little bit different than her other Epic programs. So this Endgame program is apparently going to have some more ab specific exercises as we progress through the program. So that's pretty exciting. I feel like I rarely see core work in Caroline's workouts. I think with her method, your core just kind of automatically gets engaged while you're doing doing other exercises, but I haven't noticed too much just like core specific stuff. So I'm excited to see how that kind of comes into play. Another key point is that every single workout in this program is going to finish with a hundred rep burnout. You heard me right. There's gonna be a hundred rep burnout at the end of every single workout video, which sounds like such torture, but also sounds so great at the same time. We'll see how that one goes. <laughs> As with all other Epic programs, there will be no jumping in the strength workouts. And then if jumping is included in a HIIT or cardio workout, there will be a low impact alternative to choose. She also mentions there will be increased manipulation of positions to increase intensity and muscle focus. So I'm not sure exactly what this means. I guess we'll see. But right now I'm interpreting that as like more variations. And the one last piece of advice that she gave us was to relax. So I'm gonna try to do that the best I can. She has of course provided us with the entire calendar of the next 10 weeks to come. I think I'm just gonna take it day by day. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna relax. We're gonna do this, you guys. That being said though, today is day one for me. So we are going to start with leg day. <laughs> yep, we would start with a leg day. Video is about 45 minutes long, but oh my gosh, you guys, if you've been following my journey, you know this is a big, big, big deal that I am committing to an entire workout program. So yeah, if you wanna see me through, if you wanna cheer me on and kind of give me support, please give me a like on this video. It means so much to me and it'll just keep me motivated to go on. And also if you're new here and haven't subscribed but wanna follow on the journey, subscribe, join the family, because I will be giving weekly updates on how I'm doing with this program and I think it would be fun to go along on this journey with all of you. So yeah, leg day, <laughs> let's go. Hey 
right guys, we're vlogging from the floor today because this is just where I feel the best right now. <laughs> is this the most flattering angle of me? Absolutely not. Honestly, I feel like overall throughout that workout, I was like, this is fine. This is all gonna be fine. It went by pretty quick. The sets were super long, so there were 60 second sets and then 25 second breaks in between. So I feel like because of that, it passed by pretty quickly because by the time you were finished one active set, you were like already three more percent done of the workout. I think somewhere around there but those 100 rep squats at the end like as if we just did a like basically 40 minute workout with our legs we're already shaky we're already giving in and then we have to do 100 elevated squats like <sighs> I'm proud of myself that I did do it that was really tiring at the end I'm really hungry So I just did some meal prep. I made soup this week because yeah, we're in Canadian winter. <laughs> but this is a like lentil, potato, coconut milk, turmeric kind of a delicious yummy soup. <laughs> I'm not vegan, but this recipe is actually vegan. It's very, very delicious and it's very, very warming and this will basically take care of all my lunches this week. So yeah, I thought I would just show you this. <laughs> also, I just have a thought. If you want to make that soup, I will put the recipe, like the link to it, in the description box below. The website I use, I think it's called Simply Quinoa for this recipe. But yeah, I'll put the link if you want to uh, try this soup too. Good morning. It's very early. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. right now, but we gotta get our workout done before work today. So here we are. <laughs> it's been a while since I've woken up this early, actually. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> My hamstrings are very, very sore from yesterday. That's okay. We're taking a little break from the legs and we've got a bold upper body workout with dumbbells today. Let's get to it. I'm about to make breakfast because that was crazy and now I'm like starving. I find whenever I do a Caroline workout, a Caroline program, I just get like so, so hungry. <laughs> so I definitely need a good post-workout meal now. That workout was also pretty tough. It wasn't as tough for me as leg day yesterday was, but like I'm notorious for not liking leg day. So I enjoyed today quite a bit better. <laughs> Those 100 rep challenges that she's throwing into the end of every single workout, they are no joke. So as you saw yesterday on leg day, the 100 rep challenge was a body weight exercise, so we weren't using any weights, but the 100 rep challenge today actually required a dumbbell. So I opted for my eight pound dumbbell because she was only using like a single dumbbell. And for the first like five reps, I was like, should I like weight up? Because this is really easy and I'm not feeling it. 25 to 30 reps later, I was definitely feeling it. And then the last like 60 to 70 reps were just real, real tough. <laughs> so word of advice to you if you are doing this challenge on the second day, when it gets to the 100 rep challenge section, stick to a lower weight for sure. But I'm gonna make some breakfast now. So it's day three. I've got sore hamstrings. I've got sore thighs, so quads, I guess. I've got sore biceps. Under here's a bit sore. <laughs> I think those are all my sore bits. So basically just a little bit all around my body. <laughs> but it looks like we've got a glute day today for day three. Caroline, why? Why are we doing glutes today? <laughs> I feel like my hamstrings aren't gonna like this, but let's go.
what, it passed by pretty quick because this workout was like an AMRAP kind of a style. The sets were all three minute long, very long sets, but it was like all alternating between two different exercises. You count reps you know, all that jazz. It just makes time go by a bit faster that way. Lots of repetition of variations of exercises. So lots of like hip thrusts, lots of sumo squat variation, just basically a big loop day. I will say that today's 100 rep challenge at the end, obviously it was tough. They're always gonna be tough, but I feel like today's 100 rep challenge was easier than the other two have been. I don't know if that's saying much, but it's something. I'm actually really hungry, so I'm gonna try these snack conscious peanut butter jam bites. I've never tried these before, but I just like, I got one at work and brought it home. <laughs> it looks like a little Timbit. <laughs> Canadians, you know what I'm talking about. It smells like jam. I don't know if I'm a fan of this consistency. It's quite like crumbly, but chalky, but dense at the same time. And it tastes kind of weird, but it'll make me full. <laughs> yeah. That's it for today. Do we have a rest day tomorrow? I might not take tomorrow's rest day though because I have a full day of activities planned for Friday. So yeah, TBD if I take a rest day tomorrow. I might have to swap around the days a bit this week. But that's it for now. I'll see you later. Hi guys. So yesterday I said I might take today's rest day and do the workout instead because I'm going to take tomorrow as a rest day. But I just realized I can't do that because I'm doing this challenge in live time and Caroline hasn't posted tomorrow's workout yet. So I'm going to have to take today as a rest day and perhaps tomorrow as well because tomorrow is going to be a super busy day full of other activities for me. And then I might just have to do the two last workouts this week in a row instead. Fudging around with the schedule, but we're still going to get all five workouts done that's it that's my update. <laughs> so we are doing some fun activities today. As I said, I'm gonna take today as like a more active rest day. We'll see if I have the energy after today to do the Caroline workout, but if not, we'll do it tomorrow and then we'll skip the next rest day and we'll complete all the workouts this week. I might insert a couple clips of what I'm doing today in this vlog, but if not, there will be a full video with all of my adventures today, so yeah. So I was most definitely too tired to do the workout after after all of the activities yesterday. So we are going to do day four's workout and we are doing a full body circuit workout. So I think this is gonna be a tough one. I'm also feeling a little bit sore from yesterday. So this is gonna be extra interesting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we did it you guys. We made it through that one. <laughs> Confirmed my body is definitely feeling stiff from all the activities yesterday, but we still managed to get through this workout And honestly, I feel a lot better now that I've moved again Like my body just feels like it's still in action. It's still going So that was another good workout The structure of it was a little bit different than what we've done so far this week So there was one circuit that we repeated three times and that was like the majority of the workout And then after that we did our 100 rep finisher which today as you just saw was sumo squats She did split this one up into like 50 and 50 so for the first 50 we did full range sumo squats and then for the second 50 we did half rep so just from all the way down to halfway up and honestly for the first 50 sumo squats like the full range ones I was like this is great this is a breeze I got this I can do this and I was about to say that this one broke the record for the easiest 100 rep finisher but once we got to those half rep sumo squats it just it changed everything <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I actually feel really good from doing that one. Unfortunately, because I switched around the schedule a bit, I do not have a rest day tomorrow, and I think tomorrow is gonna be our first like hit cardio day, so <laughs> we all know that Caroline hit kills us all in the best way possible, but kills us all. So I'm hungry right now, as usual. Is it lunchtime yet? It's 11.40, so by the time lunch is ready, it'll be lunchtime. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some food. <laughs>
last night, my period arrived. Also, I might look a little shiny right now. It's because I just put on cream. Yeah, my period arrived last night, obviously just in time for cardio day. And not only cardio day, but the first cardio day of the challenge. So as if it wasn't going to be hard enough, now I have my period to deal with on top of it. But that's just my update for now. I want to try making this like TikTok yogurt blueberry toast thing. I don't know, you've probably seen it if you have TikTok. You like make it in an air fryer. I wanted to try it today and I thought this was worthy of documenting so that's why I'm filming it. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. This looks so good. I'm ready. Mmm. Whoa, what is this? It tastes like a mix between like French toast and like the cheesecake. Oh my god, you all have to try this. Okay guys, the time has come. Painkiller has kicked in. <laughs> I've settled into my day. I've honestly been procrastinating a little bit this morning, but I think it's time to just do it. <laughs> I feel like honestly, normally I would take a rest day today if I wasn't doing a workout challenge. But while I work out today, I'm definitely gonna listen to my body. If I feel that I need to take more breaks than usual or just take it easy on myself, don't go as full out as I normally would, I'm going to allow myself to do that. But we'll see how this goes we've got a cosmic cardio complex workout today oh i'm scared i'm scared this one's gonna be intense and like i'm just not feeling my hottest today but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i'm gonna stop procrastinating now okay let's go <laughs> My goodness, you guys, we made it through. That was definitely a tricky one. It was definitely very hard. I feel like I moved at about 50% speed at what I normally move, like compared to when I usually do cardio style workouts. I usually move at a lot faster of a pace and today I just like took it slow. I took a lot of breaks. So this workout had a lot of long active sets. So the active times were like three minutes long and there were 20 second breaks in between. And I definitely took a lot of breaks within those three minute active sets. Probably like every 30 seconds I stopped, took like a 10 second breather or maybe even longer on Honestly, and then kept going but I am proud of myself that I made it through even though I was moving real slow and I took a lot of dang breaks the workout itself I actually feel like if I wasn't on my period today I would have really 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 enjoyed this workout because most of it like probably like 90% of this workout was made up of burpee variations and I like love burpee variations for some reason so I really think I would have enjoyed this workout if I wasn't on my period the hundred rep finisher for this workout was again another easier I feel like they keep getting easier and easier. So we did shoulder taps in this one, which passed by super quick. I didn't finish them as fast as Caroline finished them. I don't know what kind of lightning speed she was moving at, but by the time she finished her 100 reps, I was at like 50. <laughs> so if you do this workout and you notice Caroline finishes her 100 reps a lot quicker than you do, don't feel bad about it. Caroline is just like a workout god. I don't know how she moves at such a quick pace. And that concludes it for this week of workouts. So we finished all five this week. I feel really good about it. I don't feel really good about my period and I'm kind of apprehensive to see what this coming week is going to be like because starting tomorrow we basically have 
three straight days of working out while I'm on my period. <laughs> so next week might look a little different than what this week did in terms of my mood, in terms of my energy, but I think that's what's cool about these workout challenges and hopefully you like following me along these ups and downs. But yeah, that's it for this week. If you liked this video and also if you like this series and if you want to follow me throughout this entire journey, please give this video a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, give me some breakfast themed emojis in the comment section. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one when I do week two of Epic Endgame. <laughs> Bye!